Hello, in this video we are going to see how the extended assembly works and we are going to inline the assembly code into our C code and make it work. So, the most important thing here, if you already know how to write assembly code, basically it will be syntax for C inlining. And if you saw my very first video on assembly, you should probably know how to write the basic uh, pro code in assembly which re returns the sum of two operands. But we are going to do the same, but now in this case we are going to inline this function and make it actually work for in our compiler. So how do you do that is you write ASM, then you open up the parentheses and everything you write here as a string will be interpreted as the assembly code. And at the end of this you need a semicolon here, else it will be an syntax error. So let's begin implementing our sum and just as in my very first video the name of the function is like this sum and and also one important thing you to consider is you end every line with semicolon here else the compiler won't understand what you're doing. So next line of assembly code will be as always in 32-bit systems, pushel, ebp, and again semicolon, and movable esp to the um, ebp, semicolon again, and this is basically preparation for everything is pretty much done. And now we do the actual code. So we move our first argument, which is dollar sign eight e b p to let it be e d x and a semicolon. But actually, this is a syntax error. Uh, even though in the actual assembly you would write a dollar sign here when you're doing the inlining in code blocks you should not have a dollar sign here because it will throw an error and it will not understand what you're doing and this is also one important thing to consider when you're inline an, as an assembly code in your C code so the next line here would be um, add, we just add uh, actually, let me change this to EAX because return value is stored in EAX and if we'll just have uh, the first operand in the EAX, then just adding something to EAX will be our sum, basically a return value already. So let's do something like 12 EBP uh, EAX. Now, in my very first video I did not do something like this. I retrieved both of the operands in separate registers, but in this case I'm shortening the lines of codes, and if you understand the very first video you should understand this one as well. Basically, you can perform instructions from register to memory or from memory to register, and basically the only thing you can't do is from memory to memory. And this is memory and this is register. You can do register to register, but you can't do anything with memory to memory. For example, if I have, uh, for example, I have now here move EBP from this, from this address of the stack to contents of this address to the EAX. But if I had something like this here, this would not work. This is an error. And it would, won't work neither in lining, neither in actual assembly code. So, 
let's continue since and we are pretty much actually done because we moved the first operand to the EAX and then we added the second operand to the EAX which is basically a sum. So we just not now need to revert everything to how it was before we entered function. So how do we do that is we move EBP to ESP and we pop our dear EBP to our dear EBP and just return. So I think if I did not make any stupid mistakes this should work. Now let's try. Oh wait. Pile. Yep. Everything is fine and it works. Now let's try different values for example 50 and 50 and as we can see yes 50 plus 50 is 100 so we made our assembly code work in our C code. Yay! Great! So that's how you do that and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and one important thing the car blocks does not know 64-bit registers but other compilers that do know 64-bit registers and since it's not 20th century well other compilers which are not C sold for example Eclipse um, will not understand this code and in my next video I will show how you can inline stuff in the Eclipse or in the Visual Studio and give some guidelines on how to use registers in the newer stuff for 64-bit machine stuff. So thanks for watching.